Hi! Welcome to Teach in Style. I've gotten a lot of requests for videos lately, so let's get to it. I was recently asked how I pick my outfits, and I thought video format would be great for this. I'm going to show you a pin. One of the things that I've talked about is that I like to try to force myself out of my comfort zone and make sure that I am rotating between wearing pants, skirts, and dresses. So one of the first things that I do is I determine whether it is a pant, skirt, or dress day. And then I look back at my galleries to see what I've worn recently, and I compare that with my closet to see what I haven't been utilizing, and I kind of go from there. Most of the time I head to Pinterest to help give me inspiration and ideas. So this outfit is starting with this pin here. She's wearing flowered pants, a white blouse, a pale pink slouchy blazer, and then she has on neutral toned flat sandals. Her hair is sleek and straight, and there's minimal accessories. You can see a light tan purse. In going with that, I decided to pull out my flowered pants. Now my flowered pants have a dark navy background, whereas in that photo, there is a light pink background. So I decided that instead of going with a light colored topper, that I would also match it to the background colors of my pants. I had three options to choose from. I have this royal blue blazer. I also have a navy blazer. And then my third and final option is this teal colored blazer. I didn't try each of these on with the pants to determine which I liked best, but I selected the teal blazer because this blazer is a jersey type of a fabric, which makes it slightly more casual to begin with. And it is a bracelet sleeve length. And the inside has this really beautiful silk lining in a fun print. So I picked this blazer, one, because of the color, and two, because I thought that the style of it would go well with the outfit that I was trying to create. So I've got the pants and I've got the blazer. The next one is the white blouse. Again, I have a couple of different options. I have this. Calvin Klein sleeveless shell. I have another one that's very similar to this, but has a knot type of a detail at the neck, and that neckline tends to sit a little lower on me. So for this instance, I am thinking about this one because of the little bit of a higher neckline with just this slight pleat detailing. The other option that I'm considering is this one here, a white short sleeve button down with a mandarin collar. So I'm thinking that today our weather is calling for 80 degrees. There is definitely a possibility that during teaching I might get a little warm and overheated and take off the blazer. And so I'm thinking, you know, which one would I be more comfortable wearing with the flowered pants? That is this short sleeve blouse, but I have recently worn this, whereas I haven't worn this one in months. So I'm still torn between these two. I'll have to try them on to figure out which one I'm going with. My last decision are the shoes. So again, looking at the colors in the outfit and that inspiration pin. She's wearing neutral toned flat sandals. I don't have anything similar to that, and I want this to be more on the dressy and professional side, so I picked a couple different options. The first one that I thought about are a recent shoe edition, a blush colored kitten heel pump. This one might look good, however, sometimes a pointy toe pump 
to me feels a little bit too severe and serious and so I'm not sure how that's going to look with the outfit overall. Second option I'm considering a neutral peep toe open toe heel. It's going to be warm as I mentioned. I happen to have just painted my toenails recently so this would be a potentially good option. It's in keeping with the color of the Pinspiration, but the dressier heel. And I haven't worn these shoes yet this semester of teaching. The third option I'm considering is also a heeled sandal with a little bit of a peep toe, keeping it a little on the dressier side. What I like about this option is that her shoe color goes well with the lighter color palette of her pink pants and pale pink blazer. My pants and my blazer are darker in color, so I'm thinking that perhaps a dark black shoe would look better with my actual pieces and outfit, but still keeping it springtime appropriate, light, fun, airy. So I won't know which shoes I actually wanna go with until I put this outfit on and try out each of them, and then I'll decide between the three. For me, it always comes down to having an issue picking the shoes. Now we are in front of my jewelry armoire so that we can pick the accessories. In the Pinspiration photo, she doesn't have any apparent accessories. There is no necklace, watch, or earrings that I can see to use for inspiration. Since I'm kind of on my own, we get to sort of just play and have fun. So I have a couple of different options that I'm leaning towards. For my earrings, I could definitely go with these stud flowers. They're navy, so they would pick up the pants background color very well, and they're flowers, which go along with flowered pants really nicely. So that's a strong option. I also have a lighter toned color, almost a turquoisey teal kind of a flower. I've got some white flowers. I've also got a larger, more statement earring flower in a gray. So one, two, three, four. Four strong contenders for stud earrings. But maybe I want something that has a dangle or a little more length or shows a little more. In that instance, I might go down here and I might choose these dangle flower earrings. Now, I'm not saying that I have to wear flowered earrings because there's flowers on the pants. It's just a cute thing to do. I could also, in keeping with the blue, choose one of these pair of blue earrings. These would both be strong contenders and good options. Once I settled on the earrings, I then could decide whether or not I wanted to go with a bangle style bracelet or nothing at all. My students are giving speeches today, so I won't be up in front of the class speaking as much, so I don't have to worry about bracelets making noise, but I will be writing and filling out evaluation forms, so certain bracelets aren't going to be great when I'm trying to do that. These are all of the little things that I keep in mind when I'm picking what I'm going to wear and how I'm gonna accessorize it. It's been a while since I've done my hair wavy or curly on a Tuesday, Thursday class, so I'm thinking about doing something with some curls. And because of that, I'm thinking that I wanna do a larger earring. I don't wanna do any sort of bracelets because the blouses are both pretty basic and simple. It could be a good opportunity to go with a necklace, especially if I plan on taking the blazer off and just having the blouse and the pants. That'll give some color and some interest up top around my face. The necklace here, for example, might be a really good option, but I'm also thinking that it might be a little bit much because it has the faux diamonds around it. It's adding a lot of glitz and glam. I don't think I quite want that much. I am actually thinking that this 
silver chain with this peacock pendant on it would be a really cute and fun option. I love peacocks. So I'm thinking this necklace is going to be the winner. And because I'm picking this necklace, I am actually thinking that these earrings are going to be a great option and a great choice. I think this one is going to work well regardless of which shoe I actually end up going with. So these are going to be the accessories that I choose to wear for this outfit. Next up, hair and makeup. Now you're joining me in my bathroom. I've got my hot rollers in, so those are going to work their magic while I do my makeup. So I've already decided that I'm going to wear dark navy blue flowered pants, a white blouse, and a teal turquoise colored blazer. So overall the outfit is pretty dark. I could do a couple of different things. I could definitely go with a teal eye look. That is an option I'm strongly considering. I'm also considering just doing something in the neutral sort of brown family with a lot of sparkle and a lot of glitter. I've already put on eyeshadow primer and next I'm going to go ahead and do the eye look. I'm not going to walk you through this one step to step. This is not a tutorial, but I'll go ahead and just do a time lapse so you can see how the look comes together. Once I had the outfit on, I tried on the three different shoes and I selected the black strappy heeled sandals. I'm so sorry that I didn't present this in real time, but my camera's SD card was full and I was running out of time. I actually had to stop filming and go to work. So. Here's the finished outfit with all of the accessories and pieces and parts put together.